Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. My name is Emily Lauren, and today I'm going to be doing part two of my June Boxy Lux videos. This is going to be the try on portion. So if you didn't see everything that came in my June Boxy Lux, check out my last video. The theme was Boxy Charm Getaway. In that video, I go through everything I got in the box and the prices of all of it, and now I'm going to try it all on my face. But first things first, we are going to do our mug of the day. So today I've got this just simple black mug. Sorry the contents look gross. I had some whipped cream that melted in there. But this just says Vineyard Church. A church that I used to go to was handing out free mugs. And I'm a sucker for a free mug, y'all should know. So I'm drinking some coffee with Truvia and Irish cream coffee creamer which right now is my favorite and then I did the Reese's peanut butter cup whipped cream on top which is the nasty particles you see but it makes it taste really good all right so hopping into the video okay I'm back I've got my cat ears because I just can't deal with hair on my face right now so first up what I'm going to try is this pharmacy honeymoon glow serum this says it's a nighttime serum but I'm going to try it right now. Anyway, it'll be fine. I did put on some moisturizer, but this should just give me some more hydration. I will say it definitely doesn't smell like honey at all. But it does feel really nice and moisturizing on the skin. And then next up, I have this No Problem Prime Essence from Touch and Soul. So I'm just going to use this as my primer. And I do love the applicator on this. It feels so liquidy, it, it feels like water. But it feels super hydrating as well. And definitely my skin is dewy right now. I do have some redness, so I'm gonna go in with a good amount of foundation and concealer. I have a new one that I'm gonna try out today. This is the Revlon Color Stay, and it is in the shade 150 Buff. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this and my concealer, which is going to be the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Bare 04, and I will be right back. Okay, so my foundation and concealer are all done, and I set it down with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. And this next item that I got in the box is this Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refreshing Mist in Radiant Dew. So I'm going to spritz this on my face and try to melt the powders in. I love the smell of this. It's very minty and refreshing, but the mister could be a little bit better. Definitely not the worst mister I've ever used, but it could be just a tad bit more fine. Oh, it smells so good though. Okay, so I'm looking a tad bit ghostly, so I'm going to go in with this Tardist Pro Glow palette that we received in the box, and I'm going to do some bronzing. I think I'm going to take this shade right here because it looks a little bit lighter. There is some shimmer in here, so we'll see how it goes. And I feel like these shades are going to be super pigmented, so I'm going to try to not have just such a heavy hand. Okay, I think I am bronzed up enough. I'm going to go in with some of these blushes. I think I'm just going to mix these two. Oh my. There's some kickback here. <laughs> these blushes are like Barbie pink to me, which I feel like you can make a really pretty like feminine, springy type of look with these colors. Okay, that is the blush. And then for highlight, <sighs> I think I'm going to go with this one. It's uh, a little bit more gold than this one. This one definitely is more like a rose gold. Wow, 
that's pretty. Down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin. And then I always do just like a light dusting on my forehead. Okay, so that is the base right now. I'm going to also go ahead and use this palette on my eyes because in the box we didn't get an eyeshadow palette or anything like that. So I'm going to take the same bronzer that I used and use that as a transition. I'm going to take this pink shade and try to lighten it up. Okay, for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to just take the pink and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, the other eye is all done. I did take this ColourPop black eye pencil and put it in my lower waterline and then smudge it out to kind of make it a little bit more smoky and bold. But it's kind of a more subtle look, but I'm alright with it. I do enjoy this palette. It blends out really nicely. It's not too pigmented upon initial application, but you do get pigment, which is important. And I do enjoy that you get two shades of each. I think it's nice. You can kind of go on your mood, and I like that it comes with the mirrors. The packaging is also super nice. It's magnetic, so it just shuts really nicely, and I don't have to worry about it just like popping open. And the packaging feels just really nice and smooth. One thing I am going to say, you guys saw me spray this on my brush and put it on my eye, and it kind of burned, so maybe don't do that. But for the rest of the face, it is fine. And the next thing that I have here to try out is going to be this Trustique Mascara. So I'm going to try to curl my lashes with this right here. And I'm a little bit nervous because this is so small. I don't know how it's going to go, but we will see. Ooh. I mean, my lashes are in there, but it's pretty awkward. Um, I don't, I don't like that. I'm going to use my regular eyelash curler. This is pretty innovative. It's a good idea, but it didn't work, I don't think. Okay, this is the wand. It's like fluffy, but also thin, and it tapers in the middle. So let's try it out. Wow, that's super black upon initial application. I am getting some smudges right here where I've been kind of messy. So if you use this, just be careful because I am messy with mascara, but this doesn't happen with every mascara that I use. I think it made my bottom lashes look pretty nice. I'm gonna try to do a, another coat on my top lashes because I feel like everything that happened before just like fell down. Mm, I don't think I like this mascara. I'm going to try to curl it while the mascara is still a little damp. If you ever do this, just be careful because this can make your lashes stick to your, your eyelash curler and rip them out. 
but I just, this isn't doing a lot for me right now. Mm. Oh no. I think I hate this mascara. That makes me so sad. I don't know what to do now. Okay, so it got messy on my upper lid, so I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to try to brush it away with a brush, and I'm going to do this eye with this mascara, even though I'm scared. But I'll be right back after I try to fix this. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what the mascara looks like by itself. So this is with two coats on the top lashes and one coat on the bottom lashes. So, okay, it's not the worst mascara, but I don't like it. I will probably keep it and just only use it for my lower lashes because um, it is pretty black and I like the definition it gave on the lower lashes. The top lashes just look so sad though, especially on this side. Like... It's not lengthening, it's not really volumizing. I feel like it just made them black and then it made them clump together. And I mean, no. And it's still not dry. I haven't put any more mascara on this and it's been like two minutes. So that's like super frustrating and I'm already messy with mascara. So don't, I don't like this, nope. Mm -mm. Um, I'm going to try to remedy this situation and pop on some lashes, so I'll be back. So, lashes are on. Maybe not well, but it looks way better than it did, I think. I'm happy with the eye look I created and with my base. I really like that Tarte palette. I went ahead and put on this Becca lipstick in Tulip. And I'm going to go over it with this Dominique Cosmetics. Lemonade lip gloss and mine is in the shade peach tea Wow, it smells really good Oh man, that is so pretty I would say this is like one of my faves in this box. This is so so good. Oh, I want to eat it. It smells so good. Okay, so, the last thing that I have to try is this Living Proof Full Volume, nope, Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is just a finishing spray. So, I'm not great with these, like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. But I'm just going to spray it everywhere, see if I get some volume, see what happens. And then I think you're supposed to kind of work it in. Ooh, it smells really good. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I'll try like this. And then So I think it gives a little bit of volume, like you can see right here it's not just completely flat to my head, but I don't know, finishing sprays like this just are not my favorite because I feel like they make my hair feel dirty and my hair always just ends up flat anyway. The only way that these really work are if I like crimp or curl my hair, it doesn't really work on my straight hair. But if I do like one of these and kind of spray it, it'll make it look like I have more volume, which is nice. It's just kind of like a messy, tousled look. So there are two things in this box that I'm not going to try out today, and that is the PYT Mini Blow Dryer because my hair is already dry. But it does work really nicely. It has, like, it's powerful like a regular size hair dryer. And then the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic cleanser I'm not going to try today but everything that I tried I was happy with except that Chestique mascara 
that thing sucks. <laughs> But everything else I'm super excited to have and to own. I will show you the makeup close up. I really enjoy this highlighter and the lip gloss. But this is the final look. I hope y'all enjoyed what I came up with. If you're curious about all the rest of the makeup that's on my face, it's all going to be listed down below in the description box. Go ahead and give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.